Jaden Ely was 21 years old when he was shot behind this gas station. The crime was caught on camera, and while this conviction brings some closure for his family, his mother is still dealing with a heart wrenching loss. Jaden Ely was his mother's pride and joy. Jaden was an aspiring rapper. He was very creative and fun, just a you know a goofy a goofy kind of kid. And, and he was very loved. He loved football and played all four years at Oakland Mills High School. But his young life was cut short when he was shot behind this Exxon next to the Long Reach Village Center. He later died at shock trauma. Now, prosecutors say Jeremy Lewis, a member of the 5 9 Hoover gang, has been convicted of murder and other crimes. It does not stop the pain for Ely's mother. The loss of a child for any mother or father is, is the worst. Thing that could happen. So the pain is unimaginable. This guy, he may get a life sentence. I've already gotten a life sentence. My family and I have to live with this. I have to live with this for the rest of my life, knowing that I lost my son. There's no way that we can adequately compensate them or make right the pain they feel and address their pain. But we hope that we can. Um, provide some semblance of justice to the outcomes of these cases. Howard County leaders announced the convictions of Lewis and seven others who they say terrorized Columbia. Our investigators determined that many, if not most, of the serious crimes in Howard County could be linked to this small group. Investigations of guns, drugs, and violence kept leading to the same suspects. And our community is finally receiving some closure on these crimes that have disturbed going back a decade. The 5-9 Hoovers were founded in Los Angeles, an offshoot of the Crips. The state's attorney says they trafficked guns and drugs into Maryland, and suburbia was the perfect cover. If you operate in a clandestine way, if people don't know what to look for, right, then you can operate with a degree of impunity, right? Uh, there aren't a lot of other gangs operating in this community, so there's not a lot of pressure from other criminal organizations. Jade Neely's mom says she still does not know why her son was targeted. Now, all she has are memories. Justice is served, which is great, but it still doesn't bring back my son. Now, Jeremy Lewis faces a maximum of life without parole plus 100 years, according to the state's attorney. State's attorney also says that Baltimore City and County Police, along with Anne Arundel and Carroll County authorities, also helped in these cases. Reporting live in Columbia, Mike Helgren, WJZ.